Okay, back on the shore today. I'm gonna check out Pipeline, where I'm not from. Super dry and dusty. Actually, I haven't been riding that much because it's been just so hot. So the woodwork should be dry, but the dirt will be a dusty nightmare. Builders did a ton of work over the winter, revamping some of the wood features. I'm gonna go check them out. Rode it once earlier this year after it was done. Still a bit wet. Happy to get back in the dry. So much higher than before. <laughs> That's too much fun. Gotta do it again. Cool to see some of the work the builders have done. This is the old log here that they've resurfaced. Went across with a chainsaw, cut some grooves in it for traction. This entire section of woodwork, they redid. So think about all the supports, every single slot that has been cut and nailed in here. Tremendous amount of work. And you don't realize that behind a lot of these trails are just a handful of volunteers for the most part. Some are paid builders, but they put a lot of time and effort into this stuff and we owe a great deal to them for all the trails that are out there that we get to ride or hike or whatever. So thanks to the builders. All right, let's continue on. Man, is it loose. It's almost slipperier than when it's wet. It is so dry and dusty. It's like riding on marbles. More new work. Very cool. Take your time. Didn't have to do that, but thank you very much. Have a good one. Oh man. I slowly crawl up this climb because it's hot and I'm out of shape. Can use that as a little etiquette lesson. Sometimes it can be frustrating when you see other trail users on the trail, besides mountain bikers. But you know what? We're all out here having a good time. No need to push just because you're filming a video. These are public trails. 
everybody just be chill say hi to one another come one day when you're lost or you're injured you might be relying on their help so play nice think of it as part of one big community because it is Whoa. Teeter chatter. Oh, it's loose. There's pipeline. Not the fastest run today, but frankly, it's terrifying riding in these dry conditions. Although, knowing me, by the time I post this video, it might be winter. <laughs> and this will all seem way out of context. Since we're here, I might as well do a little bonus exit lap of lower ladies. I'm taking this pretty chill today because it's dry and loose and scary. I'll just narrate instead. Make up for the fact that I won't be going as fast. But the old wheelie, nose wheelie turn comes in handy. It's very loose heading into that corner. You just gotta make sure you commit. That was pretty slow actually. You can definitely do that with more speed. A little endo turn. Look at how loose this is. Pray for rain. of dust that I'm kicking up. Don't want to fall to the left there. Shoot, whoa! Poor line choice. A little dab. Now this section coming up, it's loose at the best of times, so see how this goes. I think someone has come through with the rake because usually there's marbles or full-on loose boulders coming to the monster. One day, one day I want to jump that. I just can't figure it out. I'm supposed to be able to pump out of the end, jump the gap. I've only seen only seen one of my friends do it and he is an exceptional trials rider BMX rider and mountain biker so he had all the skills necessary my jumping skills are pretty poor not something you develop as a trials rider and now I'm just old and scared so not always keen to practice hey somebody filled in that easier to get on Nice dry log. Throw in this little trials move. <laughs> Back to the dry dust.
little off balance on that drop. Not ideal. The erosion has really opened up some sharp rocks at the bottom. Had to make a few adjustments at the last minute. Alrighty. I'm not fit enough to narrate my own riding, so let's call it there because I gotta breathe. Have a good one.